First things first, I gotta pee. So it's been a while since I was in the woods. The last time I remember screaming something about vaginas. Having a lot of sex will not make your vagina loose! Sounds about right. Today I also kind of wanted to talk about vaginas, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Got a question for you. What is virginity? This question actually got me really interested in the study of human sexuality. Because I thought it was so weird. I'm like, why the f does everyone care about this? And two, after I lost my virginity, I was like, wait a second. Nothing happened! So I think when people think of losing their virginity, most often they're thinking of... But then it's like, okay, well what if what if you both have these? What if you both have these? What if I've never had peen in vagine, but in the next hour I give 500 blowjobs? Am I still a virgin? Lacey Green asking the tough questions, y'all! There's no one around. Asking the camera tough questions! So there's a lot of like weirdness around it, and whenever I hear people ask about losing their virginity and stuff, I'm like, well, Get rid of the term virginity because it's actually bullshit. So you watched my Hyman video, right? Of course you did. If you didn't, what are you doing with your life? Basically, that video talks about your Hyman. It can't be popped. You don't tear it. You don't break it. This is an absurd myth. Yeah, otherwise, how else would you put a tape on it? How the f would you be able to have blood come out of your vagina when you start menstruating? The hymen is gonna fit into a bigger picture that I'm gonna paint here in a second. Let's back up like, say, several thousand years. The concept of virginity started in the Neolithic era with a biological problem that our good friend Maury has built an empire around. Andrew, you are not the <laughs> Now thousands of years ago, they didn't have birth control, and also men controlled, um, everything. Property, food, shelter, clothing. And so virginity came about as a way to prove to a dude that you are in fact responsible. Historically, virginity also meant dollars for your daddy. Having a virginal daughter attracted men of other households who then wanted to marry her and give your dad a lot of money to do so. We still see echoes of these historical things, not only in the whole losing your virginity thing, but like when you walk down the aisle to get married and your dad gives you away. You're wearing a white dress because virginity is pure. If you think there's some racist bullshit going on there, you would be right. So historically, what happened to the sluts and whores who were not virgins anymore? They were seen as unmarriageable. They couldn't be sold. They were disowned by their families. Some were forced into prostitution. In ancient Rome, the father was permitted to kill his daughter. And throughout the world, honor crimes allow families to beat, mutilate, and kill their daughters because their family has been dishonored by her having sex. So they beat the shit out of her and the family's honor is restored. See, that bird's hollering. She's like, fuck those honor crimes. So when I say that virginity is bullshit and that it's socially constructed, do I mean that it's not really a real thing that affects people? Of course not. What I'm saying is that to me, you know, I don't think it should be. When I think about the way that I was taught to think about my virginity and to think about other people's virginity as a measure of their value, to think of penis and vagina sex as some special magical kind of sex that has the power to change you more than any other sort of sexual act, when I think about how young women today are still killed, when I think about how there's no actual physical measure, how the hymen was just sort of something that someone made up during the scientific enlightenment because they had no other way to show physical proof. When I think about how virginity has been intimately tied to the commodification and ownership of women's bodies, and when I think about how that concept is still used to shame people, to control people, how much um, power it has, it pisses me off. I'm like, F this man. I'm gonna go climb a tree. I would argue that, oh my god. I would argue that we shouldn't use virginity as a status symbol, as, as any sort of actual measure. It's just, you know, sexism and, and sex negativity. So instead of calling it losing your virginity, I like to call it your sexual debut. I like to think that in that reframing and in taking the power away from that concept, that we actually give power back to people. Ain't that right, tree? The trees and the birds are my friends. You never tell someone that their worth is tied to whether or not a penis has been inside them, right? Of course you wouldn't. I love you, tree. 